Glory to God. Hello, beloved church family. Hallelujah. Wednesday evening worship service. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Father God is head over heels in love with us. Amen. Oh, God is on your side. He loves you. And God is for you. And it's all because of that one perfect, holy, righteous. He's the only one worthy. Many of you beat me to it. His name is the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And glory to Lord Jesus Christ that he would bless us with his eternal spirit, his eternal light that shines through every beloved child of God. Amen. Holy Spirit. And in a moment we're going to pray. I just wanted to say thank you so much for your life of worship, for choosing to bless God. Thank you so much for your prayers. Amen. Pray for all of your leadership, all of Open Arms Community Church. Praise God. All of God's people. Hallelujah. Lift up your families. Amen. Lift up every soul that Father God has placed in the forefront of your mind. Praise God, because you carry the cure. In Jesus Christ's name, you carry the cure, you carry the miracle, you carry the breakthrough, hallelujah. It's all because of Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? And you have that anointing through Holy Spirit, and I'm just so excited as far as what God is doing before that trumpet sounds, amen? Before the rapture takes place, amen? And we know that before the rapture takes place, there's a lot of work to be done. Praise God. We're not going to back up, beloved church family. We're not backing up. Open Arms Community Church, we're not backing up. Praise God. Amen. We're not looking to the left or right. We're not. We're going to look straight ahead unto Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to look straight ahead into glory, into eternity. Hallelujah. Which means it doesn't matter what happens in this world. It doesn't matter what our situation is, what we're going through. It doesn't matter how we feel. Amen. It doesn't matter. Amen. All that matters. It's we have a God, a Father, who loves us. Amen. He loves you for who you are because you chose to receive the perfect one, Lord Jesus Christ. And praise God, I pray right now that we just, we just stay in that right now in worship. That Father God, you love me. You love me. You gave me, Lord Jesus. And Father, despite how everything looks and what everything's going on, you bless me with every breath through your Holy Spirit. And Heavenly Father, as we pray, beloved church family, let's just pray. Holy Spirit said, we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father God, that nothing can come against you. We thank you, Father God, that no weapon, hallelujah, formed against us shall prosper, that by your stripes, Lord Jesus Christ, that we are eternally healed. We are eternally yours, Father. That we are saved, Father God. And that Holy Spirit, we call upon you to bless you, Holy Spirit. As your holy church, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, teach us. You are the only teacher, Father. Rebuke me has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with Pastor John. It has nothing to do with whoever the mouthpiece is, Father. It's all for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit, you are our only teacher. So, Father, we just thank you. We bless your holy presence. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father God. We love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. I thank you, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Rejoice. Amen. Rejoice. Hallelujah. So we're going to be in uh, Matthew 6, M Matthew chapter 6 and Matthew chapter 7. And um, I believe we're going to be in Luke uh, 7. Um, I don't know the scriptures just yet. I'm just, uh, I'm just praying and asking Holy Spirit as far as what? He wants brought forth, hallelujah, and how Holy Spirit is going to teach us in Jesus' name, amen. The glory of God is, hallelujah, the angels are all around us, amen. Praise God, his presence, hallelujah, is in you, but all around you in Jesus' name, amen. So just bless God, amen. Bless God and just, just thank him for what he is doing in your life right now. No matter what the situation or circumstance is, beloved family, because last time I checked, amen, all God has to do is breathe on the situation, hallelujah, hallelujah, all he has to do is breathe on that situation, and glory to God, his holy presence manifests, amen, our God is the Father, our God is God Almighty, our God is the Redeemer, our God is the Healer, our God is the Provider, amen, our God is our faith, hallelujah, our God is our shield, amen. Our God is our sword, hallelujah. Our God is our banner, amen. Our God is our eternity, amen. 
who is our God. Say it with me, agape, hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Will you cry out to Abba Father? Praise God, will you cry out, Daddy, Father, help me. You know, there's, there's many of you, praise God, that are sitting with your family, you know, with your beloved children, God's children. We are all God's children, amen. And it, and it just blesses God that you just take the time out right now, we as one, to just lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ and just allow God to bless us with his presence in every breath in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Are you excited? I'm excited, amen. Let's get right into this, praise God. Matthew 6, hallelujah. Matthew 6, thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to start in verse 22. Matthew 6, verse 22, and then we're going to go to the next chapter after that, praise God. And then, um, praise God, we'll go and, uh, well, let's do that first. Verse 22, the lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore, amen, therefore reason, your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. Amen. Now we have to pause right there because Holy Spirit said, whose light shines through you? <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Our God. Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It's the present, the anointing of Holy Spirit who lives in you and me. It's His light that shines through us. And the glory of God is he's saying right away, right away, that if your eye is good, now remember, God is the only one good. However, when you receive Lord Jesus Christ, amen, when you receive Lord Jesus Christ, getting saved, right, we call it salvation, amen, we call it repentance, just receiving God, receiving Lord Jesus. The only way you can receive God, we discussed that on Sunday, amen, is receiving Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only way, amen, John 14, 6. He's the only way, and this absolute truth is, is that when you call upon Lord Jesus Christ, amen, what takes place is crucifixion of this life, death, amen? It's the holy death, right? Praise God, you, you, you are crucified in Christ, Galatians 2.20. And when you're crucified in Christ, God promises, this is how perfect Lord Jesus Christ is, that the very next breath is the promised resurrection that only comes through Lord Jesus Christ. And that resurrection power is his eternal light. Let there be light. Amen. In the beginning, let there be light. Holy Spirit, who is now alive in you and in me as a beloved child of God. Amen. And this is this, this, is this eternal light, praise God, that we fight as children of God to bless Holy Spirit. See, we no longer live like the world lives. We no longer live like your old dead self, right? Like my old dead self used to be. That's dead and gone. Can I get an amen? Say it with me, dead and gone. That's dead and gone, amen? There's no way of getting that back. But what the devil likes to do, and he's a master at it, is create deception in this deceiving fallen world to make you think that you are still part of that dead and gone being. Amen? Say it with me, no more in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And it's this light. That God says, because you receive the only one good, his name is Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You receive the only one good, and his presence, amen, in you and in me, is what makes us good, amen? It's what makes us holy, it, must, it makes us righteous. It's his presence, amen? It's not based on what we know, it's not based on, right? How we act, and it, it doesn't. It doesn't have anything to do with any of that. It's all about this one perfect man. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise for that. Amen. So when we know that it's all because of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, we go back to the lamp of the body is the eye. If, if therefore, hallelujah, therefore a reason, your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But... Oh, that's a big but now. Come on now. But if your eye is bad, your whole body, say it with me, bad, right? Bad, right? If your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? And glory to God as Holy Spirit teaches us and reveals to us the magnitude of what he is teaching through his written word, hallelujah, here in Matthew 6, starting in verse 22, praise God. When we talk about the lamp, the light of God, 
Isn't it interesting that in religion, we in religion, and I, and I know we're not, praise God, that's not us, amen? But what Holy Spirit is exposing in what the enemy wants to do is that when we try to be familiar with God, we act as if, well, it's God's light, so there, there's no way you can dim his light. Well, it's God's light, so it's just the way it is, and so be it. But notice what Holy Spirit is teaching us as we have a relationship with God Almighty for all of eternity. That here God is teaching us that if you receive the perfect one, the good one, hallelujah, the only one good, agape, amen, Lord Jesus Christ himself said, right, why you call me good, there's only one good, he was referring to Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. And praise God as a new covenant church, paid for through the blood of God, through Lord Jesus Christ, being members of his body, being one body in Lord Jesus Christ, being unified in his Holy Spirit, every breath we all take as the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Guess what? As the body of Lord Jesus Christ, as one body, we take that one breath in, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit is teaching us right now that it's my presence in you that is the eternal light, let there be light. Can you say that with me, beloved church? Let there be light, amen? So we say let there be light because we said, Jesus Christ, I make you my Lord and Savior. Oh, Heavenly Father, I pray that people that are watching right now, the Holy Spirit, that you just have their attention. And Father God, that they're saying, I need you, Lord Jesus Christ. Save them, O Lord. Amen. Save me, O Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Father God. And as we receive that light in, in salvation, and that light is eternally deposited in us, here God now is teaching us, if your eye lines up to the anointing that you receive from the Holy One, what is this anointing? Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated in his written word and how he lived this life. Hallelujah. Did Lord Jesus Christ judge anybody while he walked this earth? Or did Lord Jesus Christ in the mercy and the grace and the overflowing agape through Christ our Lord as he walked this earth, as the holy feet of God touched this earth, did he not just heal everybody who was willing to just come? Amen? Did he not seek those that had a heart that is just receptive to just say, I need you, Father, help me. Amen? I believe with all my heart, beloved family, that this is where we have to be before this trumpet sounds, that we're just continuously just going to the Father and saying, Father, help me. Help me, Father. Amen? Right now as I stand before you, beloved church family, as just the mouthpiece of God, I'm asking God Almighty, help me, Father. Help me, because I don't want to allow this world and the devil and the deceptions and the lies of this world to contaminate, to deceive my eye. Because the moment that my eye starts looking at darkness, this is what Holy Spirit is warning us right now, beloved church family. Once you start looking at people's shortcomings, people's sins. Once you start doing this, God himself is saying, how great is that darkness that is in you? That you could say that Jesus Christ is Lord, but then the next words out of your mouth is backbiting, gossiping, talking bad about a, any soul. And God is saying, no more. Hallelujah. Say that with me. No more, beloved church family. Amen. The reason why Holy Spirit is teaching us this way is because God says, when I come back for my body, my body will be blameless. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Say it, say it gooder and gooder. I am blameless in Jesus' name. See, right there, through that affirmation, that confession of faith, calling on the name above every name, calling on agape and Holy Spirit's light in you shining, right there in that confession, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is doing a mighty work in you and in me. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. And I love it because in verse 24 it says, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. God is saying, Be reminded of the glorious day that you surrendered unto Lord Jesus Christ. And what truly transpired in that transaction 
when you exchange your sins, when you exchange pure death, evil, when you said, I do not want this anymore, what took place? What took place? That died, amen, in Christ. Which means when you call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, glory to God that you are born again. I am born again, amen? But God continues and says, if you continue in the name of, how could we? God forbid, amen? Don't allow us, Father, to hurt you in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, help us. How dare we say that I am a child of God, but yet we allow to use these eyes rather than giving glory to God and allowing his light to not only be seen, but also to enter. Holy Spirit, the light, agape, to go and come, amen? How dare we allow darkness to start going back and forth? through judgment, through grumbling, through complaining. You see, once we allow the deception of the enemy to now start grumbling, complaining, and judging one another, it's pure evil. Pure evil. God has nothing to do with it. Amen? And glory to God. God said, move on. So we're going to go in chapter 7. Praise God. Chapter 7, verse 1. We're going to be in here for a little bit, Holy Spirit said, so let's read. Judge not that you will not be judged. Ha, hallelujah. We just said that. Praise God. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. So here right now, Holy Spirit, re remember, the trumpet is about to sound. We are leaving. Amen. We are leaving for eternity. We're going to be in glory. Hallelujah. In worship, blessing our Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I don't want to be here no more. <sighs> judge not so that you're not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with that same measure you use, it will be measured back to you. So when you, right now, Holy Spirit's working on so many hearts. He's showing me in Jesus' name. And right now, God is saying, will you let that go? Right? Beloved church family, I, I speak to every soul. We are not better than anybody. Amen? There's only one perfect one. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And all Holy Spirit wants as a beloved child of God, as a temple of God, it's just to show the love of God through Lord Jesus Christ and that Holy Spirit can use you and use me to love on this fallen world. Amen? To love, not judge, to love. So God is cautioning us that if we use the light for darkness, now whatever we judge and whatever we gossip and grumble and complain, God says, I don't, I don't have anything to do with that. And that same measure that we use will be, you reap what you sow. Amen? Seed, time, and harvest. That's the word of God, and it's the faith principle of our Heavenly Father. Amen? Verse 3, And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye? Why don't you consider, I like some versions, it says the telephone pole, the plank in your eye, right? Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye and look at the plank in your own eye? Hypocrite. First, remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. And don't you love that when Holy Spirit, when we read this in the written word and our Holy Spirit teaches us, immediately God says, repent, right? It's your relationship with the Father, my relationship with God, which means I never judge or look at nobody. I never do. I am constantly in the name of Lord Jesus Christ through worshiping God Almighty and blessing Holy Spirit within me, that I know that when I am worshiping my God and being thankful for what He did through Lord Jesus Christ, that I do not have the ability to look at anybody. Because you know why? All I'm doing is this. It's just looking in awe of my Savior and how much God loves me. And that's how Holy Spirit is through this relationship with God that God will continue to guard your heart, to protect your mind, and to allow His light to shine through you because you know I'm not going to judge, gossip, complain. I'm not going to hurt you, Holy Spirit. 
because I know that you're coming soon. Amen? I know you're going, you're going to come in the next half an hour in Jesus' name. Amen? Do not give what is holy to dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you into pieces. And I love how Holy Spirit is once again, once again reinforcing us. My beloved child, stay focused on me. Worship. Worship Lord Jesus Christ. When you worship Lord Jesus Christ, my holy presence through the Holy Spirit will bless you in the overflow. You will experience such peace, such abundance, such breakthrough in this vapor of a life because what God is doing through every beloved child of his who wants him is that heaven is now on earth in every beloved child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Heaven is now on earth. And you could actually start living right now in the overflow, in the abundance, in the gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise for that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Verse 7, chapter 7 in Matthew. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Amen. And Holy Spirit says to just go ahead and move forward. Praise God. Let me in, let me in. Hallelujah. <laughs> Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Praise God. And praise God, this is where. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. In verse 15. Let's go to verse 15, chapter 7 of Matthew. Amen. Verse 15, chapter 7 of Matthew. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Amen? Let me in, let me in. <laughs> Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Amen. And I love the Holy Spirit brings us all together as we close this evening. Is that when you, when you talk about a wolf, the Word of God just clearly said it right here in verse 15. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. And then continues on and says, you will know them by their fruit. And God has called us through the anointing of the Holy Spirit to be fruit inspectors. Amen. Now, pastor, explain. Holy Spirit is teaching us right now. There's a difference in being fruit inspectors. There's a difference in being fruit inspectors versus someone who just wants to judge. Explain. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Explain. When we are fruit inspectors, it is through the showing of agape. It is through the worship of Lord Jesus Christ in fellowship that all you are doing, all we are doing is lifting up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, speaking life, hallelujah, and seeing the goodness, seeing the goodness in every soul, regardless where they're at in their relationship with Father God Almighty, just seeing the goodness. However, when you see the goodness in every soul, God will show you the fruit that comes from their heart. And if their fruit is displayed, that what they are doing is judging people, talking about people, grumbling, complaining, cussing, right? Once again, we're not judging. But God right there is showing the fruit in what they are struggling with. However, because of the anointing that only comes through Lord Jesus Christ, God has also equipped you through worship with the power and the anointing to just love on somebody, to pray for somebody, and watch what his light will do to just not only expose that fruit, but rebuke Satan in Jesus' name. Amen? And this is why God says, you will know by their fruit, because Holy Spirit will guard and protect you to be deceived by the enemy. What's the difference in judging? When you see somebody's fruit and then you are distracted by that fruit and now all you're saying is, look at this person. He thinks he's a Christian and he's just cussing. 
ain't no good for nothing. Look at this. Look, come on now. Look at, oh, look at her. Look at what she's wearing. She calls herself a Christian. Oh, look, look, look at, look at his hair. You see what happened? The fruit that, however it showed you, the fruit that was that whatever was put in front of you, it became a distraction, and now that distraction took you off the course through your anointing in Holy Spirit, and now you're just casting judgment on a soul. God is saying, no more, amen? No more. Because remember, every, every soul, God died for every soul. God loves every soul. Regardless if they run till their last breath, that they don't want to know Jesus, they don't, that's between them and God. They made that choice. But it's not for us to judge any soul, it's for us to love every soul. That's why Lord Jesus Christ blessed us with the new covenant commandments. To love God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our strength, with all of our might, amen? With everything that we got. And the glory of God is this. The only way that you could possibly do that is through Lord Jesus Christ. And many of you beat me to it. It's having Holy Spirit within the Holy of Holies. When Holy Spirit is in charge of the temple of God, He is the one that protects us and guards us. Amen. And He is the one. Amen. Say His name. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the one that carries out the good work. For He is the only one good. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we have to be aware that when we talk about this wolf, amen, in sheep's clothing, guess what? Lord Jesus Christ is known as our shepherd, amen, the great shepherd, amen. We are, we are all called his sheep, right? His sheep, amen. We are all called his sheep, his flock, amen. No matter what the building says on the outside, you have Jesus Christ as Lord, amen. Holy Spirit lives in you. You believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit? Say that with me, beloved church family. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He is our God Almighty. Guess what? Lord Jesus Christ is our great shepherd. Amen? But listen to how God says that inwardly, inwardly, there's a wolf. There's a ravenous wolf, right? See, where Holy Spirit has us right now as this holy church is that if we are doing anything right now to hurt the presence of Holy Spirit in our lives, whatever we're doing in disobedience, there you go. God right now has exposed the wolf. And in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name, you have to say unto the Father, just like I am right now as I stand before you, Heavenly Father, forgive me. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, cut off every demonic thing in Jesus Christ's holy name. And Holy Spirit, don't allow me to hurt you. Holy Spirit, forgive me. Father, I want to overflow in your presence that I love all my neighbors. I love every soul, just like I love myself in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's one more Holy Spirit that wanted us to, to go through. I, it wasn't in John. Praise God. Oh, Luke. Praise God. Luke 15. Amen. Luke 15. Praise God. And we're going to be... Hallelujah. You know, let's go ahead and start in 17. Amen. Praise God. Let's go start, start in verse 17. Luke 15, verse 17. But when he came to himself... There's other translations. We're talking about the prodigal son in the pig pen. There's other translations of the word of God when he came to his senses, right? When he came to reality, right? When he woke up, amen, say with me, good morning, hallelujah. I love saying good morning, praise God. Good morning, praise God, hallelujah, good morning, amen. You know why it's good? Amen, Jesus Christ is Lord, amen, good morning. And I love this because when he came to his senses, this is what he said in verse 18. I will arise and go to my father. Holy Spirit said, close the written word, close the Holy Bible, amen, and that's where we're going to close in Jesus' name, amen. You see, the magnitude of what Holy Spirit is teaching us is beyond my comprehension or understanding. I can barely keep up. You hear Pastor John say it all the time, we're not smart enough, we're not worthy, only Lord Jesus Christ is, amen. 
But being obedient to Lord Jesus Christ and what Holy Spirit has called us all to do as his holy church, God has charged us right now with the fresh anointing through worship that we will no longer judge, we will no longer condemn, we, are, we will no longer right, ridicule, we will no longer be conceited or snobby or act better than, no longer. Say with me, no more in Jesus' name. Because I'll tell you right now, if you're struggling with it right now, right now you're wrestling with God. Right now, why would you do that in Jesus' name? Let go. Let go. That doesn't take you anywhere but a dead end. And what Holy Spirit right now is saving His Holy Church, Open Arms Community Church, is saying that when you bless Holy Spirit's presence within the Holy of Holies, and now we get rid, hallelujah, we get rid of things that try to deceive us, amen? We cast it all on Lord Jesus Christ. And we say, Father, don't allow me to hurt you. Father, cut off every wolf, amen? Amen? Pastor John and I, we have the same because Holy Spirit taught us early on, amen, in the blessed relationship that we share because we are one as pastors. Glory to God. That Lord Jesus Christ said, you do not feed or entertain wolves. Hallelujah. You heard Sunday, we eat them. Amen. We eat them. Glory to God. We cut off every head. We do not feed them. Amen. There are no wolves around in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We worship our Heavenly Father. The only way we, we, we know how is to give thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in that thanksgiving that we bless Holy Spirit's presence. And what God has done tonight is he has changed. He has renewed our mind. Hallelujah. He is flowing through the Holy of Holies. And glory to God, as we get intimate with God, being blameless for his coming when this trumpet sounds, I pray in Jesus' name that we will continue moving forward just like what the prodigal son did. Remember, the, de the devil tried to, tried to treat the prodigal son as if he was just one of the pigs. Can I get an amen? That prodigal son was sitting in there. He smelt like a pig. He ate like a pig. He looked like a pig. I'm not judging him, but he was in the pig pen. So you could just imagine, I've never been in a pig pen, praise God, but I can just imagine as far as all these pigs just, right? But the glory of God is, I know who I'm worshiping with, Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, you call on that holy and precious name, the name above every name. What happens? Father, you love me. Father, I come to my senses. That Lord Jesus Christ, you're the only perfect one. And I have no right to judge or complain or grumble. That I am going to be a blessing unto you first, Father. As I, as I bless your holy light that shines through me. Heavenly Father, I want your light to shine like never before. In Jesus' name. Amen. Do you receive that? Hallelujah. I receive it in Jesus' name. Rejoice. Amen. Let's give God praise. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for all of eternity that, Lord Jesus Christ, you love us and you saved us. You are the only one worthy. You are the only one that could do it. And thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you done did it. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your forgiveness. Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence. Oh, glory to you, Holy Spirit, that you live in each one of us through Christ our Lord. And that you continue, you continue to encourage us. You're our advocate. You bless us, you comfort us, you heal us, Father God. All we want is your presence, Father. Thank you, Father God, for teaching us as you always do through every worship service, Father. Thank you. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Father. We lift up your only Son, Lord Jesus Christ. And it's through him that you have all your beloved children here, Father God, awaiting your return. Hallelujah, Father. Holy Spirit, thank you right, right away for your blessing. Right away, Father God, we just completely just lay it all down. Father, right away. That, Father God, when there's a moment that, whether it's intentional, we don't know, Father, that we hurt you. Right away, Father God, we just plead your blood. And, Father, just, just take it away from us and bless us, Father. We give you all the glory, all the honor for all of eternity, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless us, Father God, with your holy presence overflowing. 
And it's in Jesus' name and all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus' name, we love you so much, beloved church family. Praise God. We'll see you in the next half an hour. Amen. Be a blessing to God first. Amen. And allow his presence to bless everybody else. In Jesus' name. Amen. Love you, beloved church family. God bless you guys. Mwah!